Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing a skincare video in that we are going to be tightening and toning and firming the skin. Now, why is it that people are always curious about your age? Like, you know, I could be somewhere just meeting a person for the first time, having a conversation, and somewhere along the line, they're going to ask your age. They're a bit of a question that you tend to get. You tend to get people asking you your age, what you do, and for women nowadays, sometimes they are asking you, what is it that you use on your skin? So the other day I was hanging out and this lady came up to me and we were having just random conversation talking about like, you know, stuff that is going on in the community. And she's like, what is it that you really do? And usually when I get that question, I don't normally answer at the same time because sometimes I find it to be a little offensive or a little rude. You're just meeting the person the first time you're asking them what did they do. I don't know. It's just for me. I just feel like that should be something later. But I also know that a lot of people like um, view you or place value on you according to what you do. So I was like, Mm, what is it that you think that I do? And she was like, uh, I think you work somewhere along the line with beauty because your skin is amazing. <laughs> so with that said, she was like my best friend right there and then. Warn you, this is when I just came back from vacation when I was complaining of damage my skin is like totally like all over the place because I wasn't taking care of my skin for two weeks now guys with that said you really need to take care of your skin because you don't know nowadays what people will be looking at are they interested in your conversation or are they just staring at your skin while having a conversation with you I used to think that people go for the clothes, the jewelry, but of late I noticed that people tend to go right to the face, okay? So take care of your skin. Today I'm gonna help you with that. I'm gonna share with you a facial mask that you can have to tighten and firm the skin, just lift the skin. And also this facial mask is gonna have to shrink those large pores. It is also gonna hydrate the skin and it's just gonna leave your skin clear firm tone and supple so if you're interested in today's video come with me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip this up in no time now let's take a look at the first ingredient and this is banana now when you're choosing banana to do your facial you want to make sure that the banana is a very ripe therefore the ones that you think that it's time to throw out those are the ones that is good for your skin at that stage the banana will have to lighten and brighten the skin when the banana is on the greener side or just you know barely ripe it is like really really stainy and you really don't want that on your face you want the mature ripe banana look at this one it has freckles all over and this is what you need the ones that you think it's time to throw out those are what you need to use on your face now where the banana is concerned you can basically use the entire thing in your facial both the peel and the flesh the peel of the banana is very versatile it can help to brighten and lighten the skin not only that it is great for a skin tag it could clean your shoes there's so many things that it can do you know the banana helps to shine the shoes and protect the shoes and that exactly how it helps to lighten and brighten the skin so I'm peeling a half of a medium banana and I I'm gonna blend if you do not have a blender you can go ahead and crush this banana I'm also gonna be using the inner part of the peel and that is loaded with minerals and vitamins that is gonna help to lighten and brighten the skin and this part of the banana is gonna help to hydrate the skin okay and once we have that we are gonna blend both the flesh of the banana and the banana peel 
So we're just gonna load the blender up. Now do not add any water to this, just blend as is. And take a look at this. This is the blended banana. Very creamy and just a perfect for your skin. Make sure to get everything out. Now guys, when you use the banana peel in the recipe, the banana is gonna look a little dark. Not to worry, that is perfectly fine, okay? So now we're gonna put this aside and we're moving on to the second ingredient. So here we have our next ingredient and this is oatmeal. Oatmeal is wonderful for the skin. It's a wonderful ingredient to use to shrink large pores and also to boost collagen production. Now oatmeal has rich antioxidant properties and help undo damage done to you by pollution, UV ray and also chemicals. Oatmeal help reduce itching and inflammation and can be used for eczema and psoriasis owing to its healing properties. Oatmeal is moisturizing and the antioxidant properties is effective in smoothing sunburn. Really also a wonderful all over ingredient for your skin. Now what I'm gonna do with the oatmeal, I'm gonna be blending the oatmeal to a powder. So I'm gonna use about a quarter cup of the oatmeal, close, and I'm just gonna blend. And here we have our blended oatmeal. You can choose to blend the oatmeal and keep this in your refrigerator for at least six months in a hair tight container. So now I'm gonna put the oatmeal to the side. Next, I'm gonna introduce the next ingredient, which is lemon, a wonderful brightening agent. I did a poll and I asked, which do you prefer? Do you prefer the lemon or do you prefer to use a tomato? Lemon is clearly the winner, so today we're using lemon. However, if you do not have lemon and you have tomato, go ahead and use it in this recipe. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do with the lemon, I'm gonna zest, since I'm gonna be using both the zest and the juice. Now, to zest the lemon, you're gonna need a grater just rub it like this on the grater you can also choose to peel the lemon and blend the lemon peel okay so there's two ways of extracting the lemon zest now I'm using the lemon zest because the lemon zest is loaded with vitamin C and also lemon oil a wonderful moisturizer and a wonderful brightening agent in this recipe and here we have our lemon zest. Now guys, take a look at our final ingredient and this is rose water. Rose water is hydrating to the skin. It can use as a facial toner and it can also use as the liquid in any one of your facial mask. Now guys, let's recap the ingredients. We have our blended banana. We also have our blended oatmeal. We have some lemon, we have some lemon zest, and we also have some rose water. So let's put this facial mask together. Now for our banana, this is about a quarter cup of blended banana. And to our blended banana, I'm gonna use about a half of a teaspoon of our lemon zest, which is about 25 ml. And I'm gonna pour it in the banana. Next, I'm reaching for the lemon. And I'm using about a half of a medium lemon. So I'm just gonna squeeze the lemon juice. And this is gonna be about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Now before I add the oatmeal, I'm just gonna blend the lemon juice and the lemon zest in our banana mixture just blend well now once this is done i'm going to reach for the rose water and i'm going to use about two teaspoons of the rose water pour that in we might need a little more but two teaspoons for now and we're just going to blend well and next we're reaching for our oatmeal now to begin i'm going to start out with two tablespoons of the blended oatmeal, which is 30 ml. And we're gonna mix this in. We want it to be creamy. 
at this stage you can also choose to pour it back in the blender and blend or you could just blend it in the way I'm doing it and this look creamy enough however I end up with a bit of a lump so I'm gonna pour it back in the blender because I want it to be very creamy without any lumps take a look at this this is exactly how you want it nice and creamy so let's just pour this out make sure to get everything out this is it guys take a look at this nice and creamy an amazing facial mask now what I suggest you do after making this facial mask do not use it right away what you need to do you need to cover this and place it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours to let it just cool because when it is cooled it's gonna further help to plump that skin up you don't need it room temperature apply it really cool to the skin just cover cover and place in the refrigerator then I'm gonna come back and show you how to use this on your face for best results now here is the facial mask after cooling for about two to three hours and it is smelling uh, amazing now I suggest that you use this mask on clean skin if you have a lot of large pores you can also choose to exfoliate your skin before you apply the mask you can choose to apply the mask with a brush or you can choose to apply it with your hands I'm gonna use a brush to apply mine so I'm just gonna mix it up just mix well and it's a really really thick mask once you place it in the refrigerator it's gonna get a little thicker and then you're gonna apply it on your face in upward strokes like I'm showing here really cool but it feels good feels so good okay so just apply it Ooh, nice and I'm using the camera as my mirror guys so if I miss a spot note that i'm far away from the camera trying to do my thing now if you have a lot of upper mouth wrinkles don't be afraid to just apply it over your upper lips like i'm showing here for large pores on the nose cover the nose for this a facial mask do not let it get in your eyes we have a lot of lemon in this. Make sure it is cool. So just cover your face. And that is it. You can choose to also take this down and the neck and decollete. Now if you have a sagging jawline, just load up your brush or your hands and just apply it to the jawline from the chin to the jaw chin to the jaw and you're gonna do both sides now once this is done you're gonna sit with this on your skin for at least 30 minutes to reap the full benefit of this mask this is not a five minutes facial mask a mask need to sit on your skin at least 30 minutes because anything before that you're not getting the full benefit so I always suggest that you do 30 minutes or more okay so relax with this and after 30 minutes you're gonna rinse this off with preferably some warm water or room temperature water and pat dry the skin and then you apply your favorite facial serum and next a really good facial toner and your favorite facial moisturizer there you have it what are you waiting for give this a facial mask a try use it for a week use it for two weeks come back and leave a comment and like I said earlier on in the video it's very important to take care of your skin so treat yourself to a facial at least once twice or up to three times per week thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye bye